And that signifies we're back. <laughs> Good to see you again on WFMZ 93. <laughs> Just kidding. Bingo and the baby. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the FF Dynasty's Married to the Game. You can catch us on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. We all have individual handles. I'm at IMC Myers. Jay Wayne, who is sipping that cold beverage that just you heard the loud crack and a pop of. You can find him at Jay Wayne's World. A whip crack went his rumpet tail. And we got <laughs> old Big Co. at Dynasty Big Co. The lights are off. <laughs> <laughs> the don't, lights Twitter are, yeah. don't Twitter him. <laughs> it's dusty over there. I'll retweet a good stat every once in a while. <laughs> All oh, right. the commission's coming up. There we go. Picked 2-5. Old Jay Wayne's on the clock for Tickle Monsters, who previously I just picked four and took Naheen Hines, and he's got Nick Chubb. So where are you going, buddy? Uh, probably should take Gusecki here. Gusecki. I always mess his name up. Probably should take Gusecki, well, but I'm going James Washington. Yeah? I just uh, I love him. <laughs> this dude is one of my favorite wide receivers for a while in this draft class. I'm pretty enamored with his downfield play. I don't care what his combine metrics ended up being. You'd have to be an idiot to not recognize that this guy is talented for the deep ball. Yeah. He just crushes it. He's not as fast as Martavis, right? They just got rid of him in Pittsburgh. But he can flat out get behind a defender. He's got a strong upper body and excellent ball tracking skills. He just wants it more than you do. And when that ball's in the air, it's his. So I I, I really like... This offense's ability to support three wide receivers, I think he's going to have an easy time of it out there with A.B. and Juju commanding respect. And I could see him splashing throughout the whole season with big plays and maybe even have some flex appeal because he's he's the one play day kind of guy. Make right. your whole day in one play. Boom. Absolutely. Thank you. Agree. Yeah. I agree with that for sure. But, uh, you know, between, between Antonio Brown, Juju, what he's going to command because he did make a name for himself – Le'Veon Bell's ridiculous amount of running back targets and anything that comes out of that tight end position, I think that it would be maybe a little frustrating unless you've got a deep league where you can put maybe a second flex. flex the flex appeal would come out of James Washington. And the reason, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to want to get him in your lineup right. necessarily. But it, there's plenty of there's plenty of high octane plays in that offense right. for him that you know quick hitters man uh, your your clemson receiver bryant just ships over to the other coast and and goes right. to writers that Mar- right. so Mar- they got Bryant's, rid of a, they got rid of a headache in the locker room and brought and in a great guy casey they just brought in that's that's the what, exact opposite right yeah. i got that's exactly what i have there i think you you got rid of a guy who's a, a locker room clown and you picked up a locker room stud right. yeah. in James Washington who obviously, like you said, is not as fast as Martavis Bryant, but he could definitely do the same thing that Martavis Bryant could do. Maybe even better because you know he's going to be in this facility right. giving it his absolute all, being a great teammate and trying extremely hard. This is a team that loves to take a shot in a game and James Washington's going to get his chances to be the shot. There is nobody else to be the third wide receiver Yes, Big Co. There's you probably not going to want to really start this guy, but in a pinch, yeah. right, on some bye weeks or some injuries, you could potentially play him. You know, if if you really needed him, and just like you said, he's a make your play in one day, and it doesn't even have to be a vertical like play. He could hit you up with a screen and right. take it to the house. He's oh, got yeah. those kind of moves, especially a, especially as give that man a slant, right, and a step. And, right. a, and a ball on target, and he's gone. Well, he's absolutely luck, gone. And good luck defending the curl route. He's got late hands. He's an extraordinary center fielder. He's got long ass arms. I think he's yeah. got the same length of arms as Cortland Sutton does, and that dude's six right. three, six inches taller, four yeah. inches, five inches taller. Well, well the, the the funny thing about this is he's getting pushed back to the end of these types of picks normally, and the wide receivers in this range are all over the place. But yeah, you throw in a Gasecki, and you throw in a potential. Some people are, you know, the Naeem Himes for sure. Kalen Balaj is around here. Some people are throwing a Lamar Jackson up here. Some people are all, you know. This it, is all one quarterback. It, Alan Hearns flashes his he- head up here if he's a free agent in some drafts. Like, it's, it, yeah, well, this is one quarterback discussion. But the you got the James Washington. You got the Antonio Brown's got a contract. He's not going anywhere. You got the Juju Smith-Schuster. He's new. He's not going anywhere. Obviously, Le- Le'Veon Bell could go anywhere at any time. But then you got the you got the Big Ben, who's says he's playing for four years now. Last week he was retiring, and and yeah. you know he's a shot away from being on the shelf. But all that into play. But then 
James Washington's college quarterback comes over in the middle of the draft right. to join him. You know, so that's exactly the, 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 right here. Even if James Washington takes that year to make his way into the like steady it's enough target Steelers, it, great play by the Steelers. If if James Washington, unlike some of these other guys, like you, you know, I, I, Anthony Miller, Michael Gallup, I, I like all those guys just fine, and it might take you know a year or two for them to be comfortable in your lineup. Same thing for James Washington, but the. And I'm not saying that that quarterback Rudolph's going to come in here and be Big Ben. Obviously, if he did, the Steelers struck gold. And if that, you know, but he was talked about as a first late, you know, late first round quarterback. Slipped to the big third, arm, big slipped, kid. Slipped to the third round was probably the most accurate deep ball thrower in college. That's because he had James Washington. Because he had James Washington. <laughs> and so throw that thing that's, up, Bubba. I, there, and, and you know what? Antonio Brown's been a big enough headache. He might not. He might not play out that contract in Pittsburgh. It, it, crazier things has happened. So. The fact that James Washington is on a team that loves to air it out. Now, they did lose their offensive coordinator, so things are going to be a little different over there. But they bring in this quarterback that he played with for years, and the quarterback that made him the Blitnikoff winner is on his team. I love James Washington in Dynasty League. So outside of um, Dante Pettis, who went to the Niners, who were two in attempts last year, and Zona was 598. Um, Pittsburgh comes in right behind him with 590 passing attempts last year. Obviously, you have Le'Veon Bell on your team. You're still throwing it around the yard sure. all day long. They love to throw it out of any of these other players that were drafted outside of Kirk and um, San Francisco, Dante Pettis, which you know I'm not really equating Dante Pettis because I don't, I don't know when he, how or when he's getting on the field. Yeah. I know how James Washington's getting on the field. There's a ton of targets here. And then you look at Chicago, dead last in attempts. Obviously, passing the ball obviously they changed uh head coaches and you're going to see him air it out more but not a lot of volume over there in anthony miller's world you saw that we talked about the cowboys they're 29th in attempts exactly so like there's there he may not be you know there's guys who hog volume over there a lot but there is still some volume to be had over there in uh pittsburgh perfectly said and uh, let me cut you off here because i don't want to lose this and we talked about anthony miller being about the least uh, defense player on the field, man. Between Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, like Juju had a reason for being wide open, and now you throw in Juju's a threat. James right, Washington had Martavis on the field. You too. can't even defend Martavis. Uh, uh, James Washington, not Martavis. But in what world can you even put a guy over the top of James Washington when you got Antonio Bryan on the other side and or beside Antonio him in the Brown. slot? Bra- yeah, <laughs> Antonio Brown and the other side in the slot maybe beside you know they move Antonio Brown all over the place I love that part but also Le'Veon Bell like in where in the world is a defensive help coming on James Washington and if you don't have defensive help God help you right and and an interesting thing is is you know obviously Juju could be moving outside a little more but they use Juju in the slot a, a fair amount last year so there's there I don't obviously maybe Juju doesn't come off the field for for James Washington a rookie because Juju does a lot of things really well especially the run blocking and he's a he's that kind of a guy but when you look at he had 242 snaps outside with 77 targets and that you know that that's a good bit it's 18 percent. but then he had 246 snaps in the slot 36 targets Who so you talking about? juju juju smith yeah. schuster so that's over half of his uh snaps were in the slot well and when you really get down and look at it i mean cooper cup was just above him in slot percentage at 58.7 and juju was at 58 percent. just to give you a reference jarvis was 64 percent. yeah and he was ranked 20th yeah. in the slot percentage so there is a chance that james washington gets well, I like that. And the Pittsburgh Steelers drafted this dude in the second round, into the second round, but in the second round, and all he did was line up on the right side in college. So it's not like they saw him, you know, running Same around. Same with Juju. That's what, you know, so like Juju comes in here and t- takes a ton of snaps out of the, snaps, out of the slot, obviously because Martavis Bryant's on the field and probably, you know, not no head in the playbook. But you got your to, replacement right here. Right. I don't think there's any reason that James Washington can't come in here and find a spot. Whether or not they want to move him around is one thing, but they move Antonio Brown everywhere, and then Juju's moving around, as Casey just pointed out. So, I mean, James Washington's not like he needs to come in here and well be like, oh, half. well, sorry, man, slot's full. Yeah, don't, well see you later. Yeah, well, the snaps in the slot for Juju. So I don't see that. That number may decrease a little, but I think it'll be around where it was. And when we broke down, they don't necessarily have a go-to tight end. And they, who's your fourth receiver? Eli Rogers, I guess that I think he's a free agent, isn't he? No, we we talked know. about how 
James Washington could possibly do more than what he was asked to do at right. Ohio, or, uh, Oklahoma State. You know, they, they had Atman over there on the other side. They had their offense the way they wanted it. It was a very simple offense, and he just lined them up, and they did what he did best, and he crushed his assignment. But that doesn't necessarily mean he can't excel at other areas of the field. Right. And he's he's a high-character guy. He's going to put in the work to do whatever they ask of him. So it, the, the sky's the limit with this guy. I know there's a lot of other mouths to feed and some prolific – players on this team and maybe it's not a guy you're trying to start every week and I think that's probably why I have those other wide receivers over this guy because I think there's going to be more immediate production but like honestly if you wanted to take James Washington over Gallup or Anthony Miller I can't that's really argue that's what with I've you been too much the whole time. like Bingo. you can just kind of juggle all these guys around a little bit and yeah if you maybe you hate James Washington, you're like, there's no way you could take him. He's a one trick pony. He ran a four or five four. Yeah, he's slow. He's, he's a one trick pony. Any slow. His metrics are bad. It's well, like, that's all, what, right, all right, man. That's what, you could take these. What, I, what I've been saying the whole time is these guys are all like differently by different people in different spots. Right, but uh, let me say this about this because if if nobody if somebody listening to this hasn't been in a rookie draft or you've been in a one or two, fine. If you've been in ten, great. I was in five FFPC rookie drafts a month ago and. I didn't see one person really like stamp James Washington that you know at the two one like everybody somebody all took, those other guys had like, everybody had somebody every every draft had like a Gallup went in the first round in one of those leagues Anthony Miller went one twelve in one of those leagues you know somebody put their stamp on Hines one of those went. yeah Hines went early in one of those leagues like James Washington probably because of what we're saying here is a part of us a, a part of the what is good about james washington nobody on defense can even pay attention to this right. guy and they because don't, they don't want Brown to even possibly Juju. have to wait a year exactly and there's so much good stuff that could be happening and he could blossom right in front of your eyes if he could have eight touchdowns this year so if you're sitting there at the two four two five spot in a one quarterback league and you're like man i'm i i this and this and that you know i'm gonna miss on this guy you could literally get gift wrap james washington all yeah. day long and just feel great about it. And I'm if you're not, in a, certainly if you're not in a upset su- about it, if you're in a super flex. I mean, I got James Washington at two nine in a super flex and cartwheels. I don't have a problem of having any of these guys receiver wise that we just talked about. Yeah, me either. And it's, it varies for me day to day. And, and but this is I'm my in- this is the drop off point for me. Like I like Pettis and all, but I don't. I would just just get James Washington and then there's another notch down. Yeah. 